my primary business is other people's businesses. If I open my can, can of worms and maggots on wiki, but I'm waiting for him. He's 33, that he's trying to practice. It's my own primary constituency, and I'm waiting for him. So the River State uh, local government elections just concluded. And many, many things are coming out. We are hearing people, people are saying all kinds of things. And now our Uncle Dino Melaye, Uncle Dino Dino, my guy. <laughs> the guy has come out and he said uh, the godfather, Nilsson Wuko himself, is an alcoholic and a very selfish man. Hmm. Oh, wow. Take a listen to this. My primary business is other people's businesses. If I open my can, can of worms and maggots, on wiki but i'm waiting for him he's 33 that he's trying to practice it's my own primary constituency and i'm waiting for him he's a pretentious character he's a liar and he has no integrity no iota of integrity wiki was calling me when atiku abubakar was to announce his running mates I have records and I've printed it out and I'm waiting for him. He called me 19 times in two hours, begging us to convince Atiku Abaka to make him the vice presidential candidate. So when I see him lying on TV, because of the south of this country, because of southern Nigeria, the reason of the south, you that were lobbying us and begging us, promising us heaven and earth to convince Atiku Abaka to make you vice presidential candidate, to the extent that he was at the airport, I have a video. He spent hours in the airport waiting for me to call him to say, Atiku has picked you as a... He was at the airport here yeah, waiting, waiting, calling me. He was calling me, my brother and friend, uh, who is uh, when the Senate together, was also calling me that day. I have witnesses. I even gave the phone to Abdul Ningi to speak with him. I gave the phone to Senator Zamiri to speak with him. He was begging all of us, promising heaven and earth. Atiku should announce him. It was around one or so that I told him, Aga, nobody will give you vice president. That was when he left and then flew back to... So the man who was so desperate to be vice president, because you didn't get it, you now started a southern agenda. I don't believe in such unprincipled, integ zero integrity character like Yesom Wike. The man, Wike, was the one who brought Ayu. Wike was the one who sponsored Ayu. And that was why Wike made all the governors to endorse Ayu. That's why there was no election in Ayu's, in the national chairman's office during the convention. Ayu was unopposed. Now you are saying Ayu must go, you want to go to the south. Maybe because of the alcohol he took. Maybe he thought Ayu is from Abia State when he was supporting him. Because Ayu is from the north. You are the one that brought Ayu. When did you now realize that Ayu is, is a northerner? But he was doing that that time to satisfy his own selfish ambition of becoming the presidential candidate from the south. So he doesn't want the chairmanship at that time to go to the south so that it will not affect his ambition of becoming president from the south. So he pushed the chairmanship to the north and thinking he will be able to bribe Ayu to produce him as the a uh, presidential candidate. When Ayu refused to do the wrong thing, then Ayu became an enemy. Is it not the same Wike that removed his brother, his mentor, Prince Uche Secondus, as the national chairman of the party? If you love the South so much, why did you remove a Southerner to bring a Northerner? Today you are saying chairmanship must go to the south. Was the chairmanship not in the south? Was it not you, Wike, who went to court, who did everything, expelled him from his word? So a character who is not stable like that, who is influenced by alcohol and other things I don't know, should not be taken seriously. So Nigerian politicians never cease to amaze. Everybody is just after their own selves. They all are recording themselves and keeping track of information because the information that you are going to need because you don't know when that information might be useful in the future. So people are keeping information about each other. It's like a political game of chess. And everybody to look out for themselves 
and they don't really care about the people. The people who vote for them, the people that put them into power. So this is just another revelation from, uh, again, someone, Uncle Dino, whether you like him or not, whether you think he's corrupt or not. But it's just, things are just beginning to unravel and more information coming out. And these people are beginning to expose themselves. So what do you guys think about this? And do you agree with our dear Uncle Dino? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bata bata, bata bata, bata box.